Hi viewers, welcome back with another video on obstacle avoiding robot. Let's get started. Before moving further, let's understand this 5 volt servo motor. This motor will rotate in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction depending upon how the positive and negative supply is connected to these pins you can see here yeah, here is the pins let's have a look how it works i'm fixing this wheel to this motor yeah okay let's see here I am giving a 4.5 volts DC supply. Okay. Here I am connecting the wires in this way, and the wheel is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. If I change these wires, see here. Now it is rotating in clockwise direction. So if the motor is moving forward instead of backwards, then you need to change these wires. Connect these wires to these motors. Fix these servo motors to these chassis. is an LM298N motor drive module which is used to drive DC and stuffer motor as you can see here the output pins and these are the voltage pins and uh, these are the data pins which we are going to connect with Arduino connect the motor wires to these output pins Take Arduino Nano or you know I am using this Arduino Nano in this project. Connect a D5 pin of Arduino you know to IN4 pin of the driver module. Similarly connect the D6 to IN3. D7 to IN2 and D8 to IN1 Let's understand this SCSR04 ultrasonic sensor This can measure distance between 2 cm to 400 cm. It emits ultrasound at a frequency of 40 kHz into the air. It has 4 pins. You can see here VCC and ground should be connected to 5 volt supply. The trigger pin is the input pin. We need to keep this pin high for 10 microseconds to initiate the sound 
and this echo it is an output pin it will be high till the signal is bounced back depending upon the duration of high time of this echo pin we can calculate the distance the trigger pin to data pin number 10 of the Arduino current the echo pin to pin number 11 current the VCC pin to 5 volt supply pin of the Arduino Turn the ground pin of the sensor to ground pin of the Arduino. Now upload the code to the Arduino board. Connect the begin pin of the Arduino to 5V output pin of the driver module. Similarly, connect the ground pin to ground pin of the driver module. Also connect the negative pin of the battery holder to the ground pin of the driver module. Connect it positive wire to 12 volt input pin of the driver module. Here I am using the steel stick to place the sensor. Now place the batteries in the battery holder. Here I have taken 3000 mAh 3.7 volt battery. Keep in mind the polarity while placing the batteries in the battery holder. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a good day.